cold in the trunk. Road rants on Star Wars. I'm back. This is a story I found on Inverse in regards to the Star Wars Episode 9 fan theory about Ray's parents undoes the Last Jedi. Now, for the record, I'm not a big fan of fan theory when it comes to Star Wars speculation. I like actual news. But, this was kind of interesting and it was a slow news day. There's a new fan theory emerging that Ray's parents will be revealed in Star Wars Episode 9. And that this secret will be both familiar and new while also undoing a major thematic turn from The Last Jedi. Slash Film noticed a new fan theory on Monday from YouTube account Film Thread. I guess go subscribe, I don't know. The narrator Chris Gore unpacks this theory as part of a quote franchise forecast video which drops a bombshell early on that Star Wars, that Solo a Star Wars story was all about Ray's parents. Meaning that Ray's parents could be Han Solo and Kira. Solo demonstrated how devoted Han was to Kira. And it's possible sometime after Kylo Ren went off to Luke's Jedi Academy, Han and Leia's relationship fell apart. Most of us assume Han resumed his gambling, smuggling ways. But what if he also rejoined Kira and conceived a child unbeknownst to him? Were this theory true, that would also obviously make Kylo Ren and Rey half-brother and sister, and further explain why Snoke was able to connect them through the Force. This echoes similar connections in the awkward romantic tension between Luke and Leia in the original trilogy. The light side Leia having a dark side son, with dark side Kira having a light side daughter, also makes some sense for those who require a neat amount of balance in their stories. Within the Star Wars timeline, Kira would be 45 years old around the time of Rey's birth. So practically speaking, this whole theory isn't outside the realm of possibility. By the way, Carrie Russell, only a few years younger than that, and she's playing in episode 9 that many assume is Ray's mother. So what if she's an age up Kira? Okay, my, my issue with that I can tell you is why would they not just get Emily Clark to come back and use aging techniques for her to be Ray's mother? So I immediately call bullshit on that. However, I do have a theory related to Carrie Russell that I'll talk about at the end of the video. We're descending into the realm of fan fiction here. But what if Han Solo ruined their, quote, family by abandoning Leia during Ben Solo's Jedi training? What if that triggered his shift to the dark side and caused him to hate his father? It would also explain why he's so dismissive of Rey's parents during The Last Jedi, especially considering the fact that he's basically royalty. Quote, they were filthy junk traders, sold you off for drinking money, Kylo Ren says, of Rey's parents in The Last Jedi. Quote, they're dead in a pauper's grave in Jakku deserts. You come from nothing, you're nothing, but not to me. With J.J. Abrams returning for the next Star Wars movie, it's entirely possible that Episode 9 might revisit Rey's lineage with the same sense of intrigue and mystery that The Force Awakens did. Her for force vision upon touching Luke's old lightsaber at Maz Kanata's castle included Obi-Wan Kenobi's voice, spurring many the theorized that she could be a Kenobi. But the way she immediately bonded with Han Solo also made people think she might be his daughter. Either way, it certainly seems like Rey's lineage is something that Abrams wants to explore. Simon Pegg, who also worked on The Force Awakens, said, quote, well, I know what J.J. kind of intended. And he was sort of being chucked around about it. I think that's kind of been undone slightly by The Last Jedi. I don't know. There was some talk about it. You know, 
a kind of relevant lineage for her. Okay. So, number one, I mean, I think this, this whole fan theory thing is bullshit. Um, now, what I will tell you is, as, as part of my must-haves for episode nine, Ray has to have a family history. There has to be a family kinship with somebody. Skywalker, I want it to be, and, and what makes the most sense to me is the granddaughter of Obi-Wan Kenobi, okay? And then they can tie that back in to the Obi-Wan, a Star Wars story movie later, okay? Where, where Ewan McGregor will meet what will become Ray's grandmother, okay? So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not real sold on this. Like, the whole Kira, uh, what I'm fuzzy on is why, why is Kira part of the dark side? She was working for Darth Maul, but that does not mean Kira. There was in no way any suggestions that Kira was Force-sensitive in Solo. I've seen that movie, okay? Um, she works for Darth Maul, but that's it. That's the end of it. Uh, so she's not like force sensitive or anything, and we know Han's not. So I, I, I kind of blow this theory out of the water. Now, what I will tell you is, if we have to go as far as this goes in order to prevent the Raylo storage storyline, then I'm all for it. Anyway, guys, it was a slow news day, so this is what you got. I appreciate the watch. I'm out. Peace.